Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. As we mentioned in our previous video, Google Cloud Vision is a powerful tool that allows developers to easily integrate vision detection features into their applications. Azure and AWS have their own image detection services, each with different strengths and weaknesses. We already covered those in previous videos. See our playlist on OCR text extraction for more details. In our last two videos, we taught you how to detect text and detect objects in an image stored locally using Google Cloud Vision API. Check the description below for a link to those videos. Today, we will teach you how to detect landmarks in online images using this API. Here is the image we will be using in this video for landmark detection. Okay, as usual, we need to set up the Python environment for our notebook. We will be using Conda for this. If you are unfamiliar with using Conda and Jupyter Notebooks, see our video on Python, Conda, and Jupyter Notebooks to get started. Link in the description below. These are the commands to set up the environment with the necessary packages including the Google Cloud SDK. This command will add the new environment to the list of kernels that you can use within notebooks. Once you set this up, select the new environment from the Select Kernel button. The first cell imports the Python packages or libraries we will be using. Next, we set up the location for our API key credentials file. See our first GCP video on how to create and save this API key, Google Vision API for OCR text extraction, link in the description below. Then we create a new Google Vision API image annotator client. This is how we will access the GPC cloud service. Now we create a new Cloud Vision image class from the Google Cloud SDK. Then we select our online image and URL. Now we pass in the image to the client using the landmark detection function and get a response back from Google Cloud Vision service. Next, we extract the annotations from the response. The annotations contain some metadata about the image, such as the name, the borders of the landmark in the image, and the geographical location of the landmark. Here we print a list of landmarks that were found and the latitude longitude coordinates for each. In our case, there is only one landmark in the results, the Eiffel Tower. This is a Google map link to the map location that corresponds to the landmark. And finally, we include an error handler to help debug any issues with this code. So, the output of the landmark detection model correctly shows that the Eiffel Tower is in our image with a confidence score of 0 0.409. This number will be in the range between 0 and 1 with a higher score meaning a higher confidence level. 0.4 seems low, but may be due to the copies that were built in other cities, such as Las Vegas and Tokyo. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time.